All right, here's my hive. I'll zoom in a little bit. There's where my hive is. Where my hive is? There's where my hive is located. And there are bees flying all around me because I have relocated one of the supers right here. And it is full of honey. Now, as you can see, bees buzzing all around. This is my relaxed way of getting the bees calm down and go somewhere else, go back to the hive. And what I'll do is start taking this the super apart, one frame at a time, brushing the bees off, and then um, and then as I replace them back in, I'll, I'll throw this sheet over top and then get the next frame and brush it off and then put in, and uh, replace it back into the super. This is my way of doing um, honey removal when I don't have any almond extract spray stuff. And I'm a good distance away from the hive. They'll give up if I start brushing them off. Some will stay on there, but I just put them in my car and take them home. Mm -hmm. okay. Here I am. Again, you can't see me, but you can see my body hay. And um, what I'm doing right now is I'm sitting in the shade, relaxing, and getting this um, these frames out. And I am brushing the bees off of each frame one by one, but I'm just brushing them off and very carefully placing them over here, not to break the wax seal that the bees have so carefully put on there because, I mean, see the sun, sun shining right through? Get them get the frames, brush them off again. They does require another brushing. They will hook it up. And they'll go back to their hive. Because when they get brushed, um, that's not one of their favorite things to have happen to them. So, they they leave. They get tired. This is when you're extracting beans from a house. You know, let you do whatever you got to do to the to the wall or wherever you're extracting them from. In this case, I'm extracting them from their super, their home. That, my friend, is probably close to 10 pounds. That's a lot. That's what you want to see. All right, let me check in later. Okay, as you see now, I'm brushing the inside of the frame because there's some left here. You can see a lot of bees right here that have just stuck in the ground. I'm gonna kind of give them a shake and think what I'll do is uh, turn my operation over here and begin putting them back in. Okay. Well, I finished and I had to finish that last uh, part really quick because once I got all the bees off the frames, I had them covered up, but the bees started coming back, which is normal. But I don't know if you could see there probably a hundred bees or so flying around it might be hard to see but anyway I got the I got it in had to quickly make room but there it is the frame and now you can see that there's hardly any bees flying around I should be safe to at least take my hood down there's a bee flying around in there so I'm gonna get my other things 
back in the car. My equipment has to go in the front and uh, then I'll be on my way.